Bernie, since the voice lost, things have gone from bad to worse for the Albanese government. Mm. They've mishandled the release of illegal immigrants, some pedophiles and murderers, and (laughs) the list goes on. Um, The cost of living crisis has only gotten worse because of their policies. Uh, This mob makes the Whitlam government look competent, doesn't it? Quite extraordinary. I would never have thought that I'd ever ever say that or ever agree with it. But but it's true. I mean, even this week, you know, the the, the betrayal of Israel at the UN yeah. was decided by Albanese and Wong together. They didn't tell anybody in the government. They didn't tell anybody in the Labor Party. It was a big surprise to everyone involved. Uh, so you know what what is going on within that government is in it is in total disarray. Uh, it has no direction. It, it's um. You know, it, it would do us all a huge favour if they just go away. Uh, I mean, this is a this is a really really bad government, and I'm a, I don't I don't say that from a, a politically partisan point of view. It is just a really really bad government with a really really bad prime minister and uh, a, a few mates around him um, who, um, who who think that they know better than we do, um, and that's that that always leads to to bad outcomes. Sure does. And, and look, um, w- one of the things that, you know, underscores the point you're making is is their High Commissioner in London, Stephen Smith, a mm. former minister in the Gillard, Rudd Gillard, Rudd governments, cancels Australia Day at Australia yeah. House in London. Uh, mm. And of course, where's the Prime Minister been? He said he should have overruled that straight away. Richard Miles has sort of made some, the Deputy Prime Minister has made some sort of half-hearted comment about, well, it's not cancelled, but but it is. I, I mean, mm. it's in, it is in disarray. They don't care about this nation. They hate everything our nation stands for, it seems. They do. Well, they do. That is that is very, very true. And you've got to look at where Albanese comes from. I mean, he is a hardline socialist left warrior. He always has been. He said years ago, he said the favorite his favorite thing to do in politics is to fight Tories. You know, I mean, this is the, this is the sort of mindset that the socialist left have. They don't care. Uh, what they achieve, they just want to kill people, kill people, and and, and kill conservatives, uh, and uh, that that's what he's you know the, the mindset is uh, is taking over yet again. Mm. I mean, he he is an appalling appalling prime minister uh, and uh, an embarrassment uh, to the nation. I don't know how long uh, Bill Shorten is going to uh, 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 resist temptation. Uh, but I've got a feeling it's not far away. I, I know that uh, Rudd made it very, very difficult to change uh, leaders, uh, but I I have a feeling that 2024 uh, will see Bill Shorten uh, finally take the sword from the scabbard and 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 uh, go after uh, Albanese because uh, I mean I I know Bill Shorten and uh, I think he would be deeply embarrassed. Uh, by what uh, is is unfolding uh, by this government at the moment. I mean, they they are just hopeless. 